Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Abraham Podcast. This is season three, episode 24. The title of this episode is called Reflecting. So it's continuing the in season. So, so what are we doing? Are you living your best life for you? Indeed, I am. I feel like um, ever since the last episode, um, it made me realize a lot of things um, about my life and like the path. Oh, well, mainly my journey of where I started from and to where I am now. So I want to do a lot of reflecting on the past because it helped me build who I am now. I guess start off how, like, how I guess how confident I became. Um, Some people look at confidence and look at you as, as you're cocky or not everybody can um see how you started. Because like they say, it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish. So I wouldn't say uh, growing up, I had um lack of confidence. I would say I didn't really know who I was growing up. Like I knew I wasn't a follower or anything like that, but I still like growing up just like anybody and like figuring out who I was and what I wanted to do with my life. Because I was dreaming. I was dreaming big as a kid and stuff. Um, like at the time, what is it? One of my dreams, I did, I did think about being a cop growing up, but I think more I wanted to be like a spy or something like for the CIA. But like a big love of mine was basketball. So I always dreamt of going to the NBA and stuff like that. And I, I kind of gave up on that dream, uh, based off of my confidence at the time. And like, of course, what I know now, I wish I knew back then, but you can't rewrite history and you can't travel back in time and just, oh, let's do this. Let's do this again, but let's do this, do it this way. So I guess it's more reflecting, is being reminiscent of the past. So you can be fond of those memories, but don't get caught and get stuck. Like, oh, I wish it was this way. I wish I could have changed this, but nah, don't be like other people. And let that hinder in you from growing. Because you can get stuck and just in that state of mind, like, oh, dang, if I only did this, whatever you're doing now, it's, it's, it's for your purpose. So you just realize that and just act, actualize it. So, so that dream, I let that go and more die, uh, I dove into art. Um, because I always like drawing anyway. Um, and always, even like I said before, like in season one, like I, des- I was designing shirts before I even went to college. So that just, it just came like normal to me. Not just like, oh, like I got too comfortable doing that. Like that's just, it felt right. So that's what helped me choose my manager and just, just even having a type of clothing business at all. Like, it started off in a, a small like idea, and it just came big. And like, I feel like now, like especially looking back, like but definitely now, I I have the, I feel like I have the level of confidence that I want to have, but I, that I wish that I had back then. Because some people like we get into like a place where you feel comfortable and how people treat you and how they like come at you. So a lot of people would, I feel like even now growing up, like growing into, growing into a young man and stuff, like, I feel like a lot of people treated me regular and I don't think we should, anybody, we shouldn't allow allow anybody to treat you like you some regular person or something like God didn't create you to be treated regular. Like, of course you're not better than anybody else or anything like that. Like the the sun don't shine on you brighter than anyone else. I feel like. A lot of people, we get too comfortable in getting treated the wrong, getting getting treated the wrong way instead of how we would like to be treated and stuff. And just like those saying goes, treat others like you want, you want to be treated. And of course, people do not go by that. <laughs> They're gonna treat you however they want to. And I think I got comfortable in that because, like, um, growing up, like I didn't get bullied really like that until, of course, school and like. I went from like being the person that stood up for kids to get picked on until like in middle school, like I was the person getting picked on. So it was just like, 
Uno reverse. So I'm like, dang, how did how this happen? Like, how did we get here? So, and I feel like my state of mind changed because of what area I was living in and what I was dealing with. So, of course, it's like, okay, I'll just deal with this certain stuff at this time. But, like, you should never get too comfortable in getting treated wrongly and just think, it's, oh, it's just not. Nah. Don't be afraid to uh, stick up for yourself because you used to, you... Had, you was brave enough to stick up for someone else, so you should be able to be brave enough to stick up for your own self. And mind you, like, oh, I could, I definitely could fight and stuff, but um, like you already fighting battles like mentally and stuff. So it's like after a while, you get tired of having to <laughs> fight physical battles. So with that, it's like it just got old. And then like, of course, when I got even older, it's just like okay, you just filled with different anger because of like stuff I didn't. I put back and I didn't deal with. So that just formed a, just a, like a pit of anger with even more of things because it was a lot of undealt with stuff. So I just had zero patience. Like when it was time to fight, it was definitely time to fight. There was no talking and that irritated me more with people. Like, I'm like, okay, we're just going to have to fight because like if you, you're – they getting you into an area where you're trying to like it's you know that this person's trying to fight you and they just sitting there talking so it's like okay no that's not what we're about to do so and then i i really dislike people that just wanted to put on a show or just acted a certain way in front of other people that made me more mad as well so it's like okay this is this is the type of beat down you're going to get now because since we're going to put on a show yep we're definitely going to put on a show now so it just that that became normal to me until I got older because I'm like, OK, nowadays, people that can't fight, they, they have guns and stuff or some people jump people and you still get shot, too. But um, and I didn't want that for myself. So like and I, I'm very confident fighter and stuff. But I'm like, like, I know I'm like, you're going to get tired of fighting every time. So it's like it just gets boring after a while. And like it's time to grow up. So. You don't have to actually do that all the time or feel the need to. So you got to remove yourself from different situations. But it's just like realizing that now is like, okay, dang, a lot of this was going now back then. Like it, it couldn't have been, it shouldn't have been that way. So especially who I am today, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't have did that. Like I wouldn't allow that at all. Like, nah, not, definitely not, not me. But that's we just that's what type of type of um normalcy people have and you just you accept it and seem sometimes you feel like you're forced to accept it because with stuff that you already are dealing with so you just get used to it so like you just got to reset your mind and try to go about things differently like because you progress like we're all slowly progressing some faster than others so you're like okay like, dang, I should have did this. Like, <laughs> but it happens all the time. I'm pretty sure people listening and stuff, they're like, oh, yeah, I've been there before. Like, it's all part of growing up and just part of life. And some people playing chess, some people playing checkers, I guess. But, and some people, they already have that mindset that they, they, they can do certain things to people. So that's their, that's their normal thing. Like, they can treat people like this, and they can say this. Like, it got to a point, like, with the bullying thing. Like, it was like, it was just, it really was little kid stuff. I'm like, and it, it got old after a while. Like, and I talked about before how my situation was in um middle school and stuff, and how I was living and stuff like that. Um, And people didn't know that school. But I know it got times where, like, this is little, 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 little kid stuff. Like legit. Like people would try to, oh, Prince, Prince trying to talk to you, and it'd be, and it like, it don't even be the most attractive person at the school neither. And I'm like, and you really think like now I'm thinking about like you really thought I was like, you never, you never not once heard me say I was trying to talk to you, but you're gonna believe these other group of people just because they, they want somebody to mess with. I'm like, now you know. Now you know the way you look. Never mind, but <laughs> that's a different story. But the person, the person wasn't attractive, to say the least. But like a lot of people thought they was because of their their features, physical attributes, if you will. 
but not me. Like, I never really was that type of person or that type of guy. You have to be more with your mind. Like, how do you carry yourself? Like, of course, you can be attractive all day or, you know, I guess, attractive to other people. But what else? Like, what else do you bring to the table? And people grown, they grow to definitely adjust to that and realize that as well. Because, like, okay, it has to be more than just the physical. So, well, I hope people do. Because if you still like that, like how you was in middle school, I hate it for you. Or how you was in high school, some of the people that peaked or thought they peaked, mm-mm. You need to redo. I hate to say that, but high school, how you carried yourself in high school, that does not carry you throughout your life, buddy. Uh-uh. There's a, they're bigger dogs, and they bite back. Um, regardless of whatever you're carrying or not, they they don't care. So um, I hope people had a coming to Jesus moment because <laughs> you got to do a lot of reflecting, buddy. Um, but... It's just besides school, like growing up in life, like I was moving back and forth, um, living with my sister and living with my aunt. Like some days, like I like I, I talked about this too. Like some days, I wish that I did stay. Only simple fact is because of my dream that I had about basketball, and then like we had a lot of like I talked about too in the, the episode when I was like just giving people flowers that um from my neighborhood, giving them praise and stuff. Um. I feel like, yeah, if I did stay back then, I probably would have been better. Like, that probably would have helped my confidence, too. But you can't, like you said, you can't just reminisce and be like, oh, dang, this would have been better if this was the case. But, no, you have to live in the now. Like, it's good to relive certain good memories. Like, because sometimes when you relive those memories, then you travel into the bad memories as well from back then. Um, And you have to carry on with yourself because you can get stuck and like that can just like slowly deteriorate the you that you've been building and you're going to start backtracking backtracking and you don't want that so part of this reflecting is really just like realizing who you are because i remember i asked that i think that's one of my new questions like do you do you know who are who do you know who you are and so you every now and then even though this is episode you have to reflect see how far you came so no one can take you back to who you used to be or and you don't feel like you have to prove something to somebody like you know who you are you know what you bring to the table and like for me like I like and I I love to talk about me being a hopeless romantic like Especially if you you're trying to get to know someone, definitely don't allow somebody to uh make you feel like you're regular. Like you're just some regular dude or a female. Like like you don't have some great qualities and like you don't know like who you are. Like then they start you start second guessing yourself just because somebody like played with you or wasted your time. Like definitely don't second guess yourself. You re- you know who you are. You know what you can do. Um, not even just like in a relationship, you like, you know what you bring to life, like how you walk in a room, like you light up a room regardless. Like even some, there's some people that just walk in a room and they can light it up, um, just with their present. They don't even have to say anything like just their energy alone, their vibe, like, and people pray or even like people envy stuff like that. Cause they're like, Oh, why are you so quiet? Or like, why are you this? Like, it's none of your business. Like like that little kid said, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, cause it's, it's not them. It's you. Like, um, not everybody has that je ne sais quoi. Like, people like kill for stuff like that, cause you are you. Like, it's really authentic. So nobody can take that away, and nobody. You should never feel like you should change who you are just cause somebody's hating on you or whatever. They want what you have, because that energy alone somebody's gonna vibe with that somebody's gonna vibe with who you are regardless and it's just original so you should definitely just be yourself and that's that's how i really always carried myself and people always flock to me regardless they just they want to get to know me they and they see the things i'm involved in even now before now like they just oh, like this person, this this person, uh, I feel like they're really interesting. Why are you mad? Because what somebody else sees in me and that you don't. Like if you, 
that's your fault. Like I, I'm not even. I don't. Even, most of my, I don't even feel like I'm be doing anything special. I just, I'm just being me, and that's how it always been. But it's always somebody else worrying about what you're doing. If they're doing that, that you obviously are doing something right, and you should never feel like you should change who you are just because what somebody else is thinking or what somebody else is saying. Like they need to do reflecting. Like they need to take a real good look at themselves and see what they they feel like they're doing wrong. Don't be mad because some, something is happening for somebody else or people are just attracted to somebody's energy, whatever. Some people can command a room without speaking. Like, that's just what it is. Like, people can just see that. They see who you are regardless of whatever way you talk or whatever you want, the way you walk. Sometimes it's like that, too. It depends on how you talk. Like, some of the people can talk correctly they just have this walk it's not even like some crazy walk or nothing or no pimp walk like this is they just got it man and some people don't some there's some that do and some that don't and shout out to the people that do like hey we just got it like that some people just had to work to get it like because not people were comfortable with being themselves because of what someone else did and I say that, that's why I talked about the past in the very beginning, because back then I wasn't comfortable in who I am. I, and I see that. I realize that a lot. I'm like, man, like, why did I let these people, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why did I let people do this? Like, why did I react? Why didn't I react differently? Like, people just try to downplay who you are just because they don't know who, who themselves, like, they, 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 they and essentially they, uh, they hurt that they they hate themselves because all because you love yourself a lot whatever it's crazy but i don't know just take the time to assess different situations because like me i have trouble with that sometimes especially now since the accident because i feel like a lot of my patients just has left the building um and i just have to just sit and listen most times because i'm like all right because I know how I would, I would want to react, and I know how the old me would want to react. So I'm like, okay, this is how I need to go about this situation. And that's growth. A lot of people are not comfortable with growth neither. So that's a big thing as well. And reali realization, realizing who you are and realizing what things you need to change or adjust. And a lot of people don't know this. So like they're still going throughout life, like it's high school or whatever. Think it is a game. Life is a game more and so to other people than people that's actually going about it and actually putting in the work. A lot of times back then, too, a lot of people had things handed to them, like, so they don't know. Now they got to work. Like, oh, I got to work to get to this this um destination or this point in my life. Like, it's not always going to be given to you. And that's what people with privilege or not, like, that's what I'm talking about. The people that peaked in high school, or whatever, peaked in middle school. Shoot, I hate it for those people though. Cause your looks can just, your looks definitely, it don't go a long way, not anymore. So, uh, shout out to people that's actually putting in the effort to um get the things they want, and like, to, and for the other hopeless matches, like, don't waver, cause like, um, your happy ending is coming regardless like just keep doing what you need to do and don't lose focus like i say all the time don't allow someone else to distract you because you you're going to be off your path and then you're going to be a, there's even more backtracking with that because all because someone else doesn't know what they're doing and then some people were distract you on purpose because they realize they do realize they see you they realize what they have or what they think they have so they're going to distract you they're going to do whatever they need to do to knock you off the path that you were going on because they're like, uh, cause if he, if that person feels like if you actually realize, have a realization of who you are and what you can mean to somebody or the success that you ought to have or whatever, the, whatever great, great things that you think you deserve. And that person can be like, well, that person is going to feel like they don't need me no more because in all reality, they really need you. Definitely don't be around those people. Even if you're not romantic, like you gotta look at these things as well because not everything that looks good is not gonna be good. Really think about it when you're choosing your partner and stuff like that. Them red flags, absolutely. Realize them and 
take account to those red flags because nowadays, especially for me, cause I used to be like, oh no, I could, I could, I could do this, and then that's what I talk about too as well. Like before in the past seasons about changing your list or like adjust because you think this person is for you. Nah, don't do that. Um, that sucks. And then like for me nowadays, cause like I t- I think it take me like a meeting or even like a conversation to know, yeah, that ain't it. That's definitely not the person for me. So, and I'm not about to change it. I'm not changing my list. Uh, uh-uh. sorry for you. We'll see you. Thank you for, um, thank you for coming. Um, but yeah, nah, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not adjusting anything for anybody. Either you're the person or you're not. So moving on. Um, I got too much going on for myself to let somebody knock me off my path or, or distract me from what I want to accomplish, not just for myself, like for other people as well. So no, definitely not. Um, it's not happening. But I think other people, you got to want that for yourself too. You can say these things, but you actually have to want those for yourself. That's why I said like stuff I, want to, I talk on this podcast, like the podcast is like my accountability partner. So I need to follow through with what I'm with or what I'm saying. So in short, I'm definitely am because people have asked and stuff. And we had talked like, well, are you still doing that? And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm good. I'm I'm on the right path. So you just have to have a realization with, with life and it does everything that you want align with how you're going about things. And whoever you end up meeting or wanting, do they align with what your goals are and what you want? at the end like your end goal so you can't be in game if they're not a part of your own and those things that come through with time like a lot of people are blessed to even have those things so you keep doing the right things that you um that you need to be doing and someone's gonna realize like or come along and just like oh that probably that's probably the person for me like because there's somebody there's other people probably longing for something too as well but they're they're still doing the stuff that they need to do because they they know that that person's gonna come along at the right time not on the time that you you think is gonna happen so keep believing in yourself keep believing in your dreams realize who you are realize you have a lot of great things going on for yourself the dreams that you have the people involved in your life so this is the this has been the Airbrand Podcast. You can follow me on Instagram at Jair to the Throne, Jair Designs. Um on TikTok, Relatable Nostalgia. And also on TikTok, my game in TikTok is oh it changed because I I made sure I put in my two group gaming that I'm involved in. So it's nine oh two one oh air Red Ranger one. Um it's, that's a lot. <laughs> But um, the, my solo gaming channel is called Air Gaming. The first group channel is called Nine On Two One O Gaming, and then other one is called Space Ranger Gaming. And then if you want to follow or like even shop with my business, it's called AirDesigns dot com. Um, I'm still writing the book, so nobody you have to worry about that. And and I did a whole another episode without cursing, um, because my mom got on to me about that. So look. Whatever you feel like you you know that you can accomplish, you can do it. Keep that same mindset and just go on. Keep working towards that goal. But, yes, y'all stay blessed and continue to do what you need to do.